everybody. I have to shout because there's a tractor next door doing muck heap removal. You can see, probably can't. All the ponies are coming in at night instead of out during the night. So they're all just having their breakfast and I'm just gonna put some rain sheets on because it's not very nice weather as I have got the Primark dupe coat back on. The best coat ever, but they don't do that in stock no more. It's so annoying. So let's put some rain sheets on. The new barn already out. The only one that's not out is Nebo. Grumpy when he eats his dinner. Oh, I was videoing putting Jack's rug on and then Honey knocked it off the wall, so that was good. But um, I'm just putting Jack out now. I'm just going to walk him around to the new barn because Nebo has actually moved round to the new barn now. So he's got the hot water, the solarium. Jack's pulling me over to some glass. Come on, Jack. We've got Dexter. So yeah, he's got the hot water, he's got the solarium, he's got all his numbers and storage around there. So it just makes it easier for him. And then I just walk Jack around there during the day and meet Nebo around there and put them both out in the field. So it's not too much hard work with Nebo being around the new block now. And also it just gives us a bit more room for the pony blocks and then we can bring an extra pony in from the field if ever needed like a.k.a. Okay, my leg rose coming in a few nights of the week and then going out the weekend there is Nebo <laughs> Hi! It's a bit flooded in here isn't it with the rain right, Now I've got both ponies going to build <laughs> I need to attack my tripod if you think that it's a really short screen <laughs> How horrible the weather is where's summer gone we didn't even have much of a summer i like winter though i like them being all warm in their stables with their rugs and pajamas on i just like them be i like them with rugs on i feel like they're just cleaner come on right let's stop having eating breaks they've all gone out they're all in their field horrible gray skies I need to go around, put Honey's turnout on and my leg grows turnout on. They've got like really cute turnouts at the moment. They've got their Tigaboo turnouts, which Honey's got like, I think she's got all like Shetland ponies on her turnout. And my leg grows got like, I think it's like dragons and princes. So they all look very cute. I'm not too sure where we're going to put my leg grow today because it was the first time bringing him out of the he's in like a big retirement field just with the baby so we wanted to bring him in because he's getting a little bit older now and get him into a bit of a routine that maybe he could go out at the weekend but come in during the week so sorry if the camera's really shaky and he's put attached to the tripod so i'm not sure what field i want to put him in i can have put him in the track like i did yesterday but then that just blocks if anyone wants to bring Ben and Guinness in so we've got to kind of have a little think or I could put him in the pony paddock not sure yet <laughs> so the tripod is attached now look how cute my leg bro looks he's got all his mane plaited because we're trying to keep his mane nice I did trim the ends a little bit so it wasn't so straggly hey <laughs> saying hello I do need to update onto a vlogging camera. I know that. So sorry about like the not so good picture. Hello. This is his turnout. How cute is that? And you, you're cute as well. I don't actually think he's gonna get much bigger. I, don't think, I think he's just gonna fill out. Because he's three and maybe like a few months, but um, I don't know, I don't think he's going to get bigger. I think he's around 13, 1, or maybe 13, 2, but I got told that he'd make 14, 2, but there is no way he's making 14, 2, he's tiny. And his 
got quite a short back as well. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with him at the moment. I think I might keep him and maybe do a bit of showing with him. But I'm not someone that does showing, so we'll have to just wait and see, won't we? Yes. Yes, but you are very cute. You are. <laughs> right, let's just go get Honey's rug on. So, I got this one quite a while ago. I think it was like one of my first YouTube videos when I bought Honey this Shetlandy summer rug. So, let's just put this kind of rug on here. Rain's everywhere. All light in her field. Right, so I've just put Malegro out. His first time out with Alistair. He's he's only ever really been out with the baby. So anyone knew where he used to be a colt. He's very like, well, a stallion because we did breed him. He is a little bit like, he gets it out. But obviously he just kind of don't really know what to do. So he kind of just, it's his way of saying hello. <laughs> So I'm trying to see where he is. Are we sniffing Alistair? He quite likes him actually. But I'll show you him. But he's put his willy away, so that's good. There they are. <laughs> They're both happy. I've now just got to go find Massimo and Magic a turnout rug because it's currently not great weather and they're out in the retirement field and we've got to take Boise and Anna up to the retirement field also. I'm going to put my leg out there this afternoon so I'm going to just leave them in there for a bit but we're going to take them up now. I just need to find some rugs. I went to go down to the bottom bit because there's like a box there and there was a mouse in there and I was absolutely petrified. Let's just check there's no mouses. Let's me out. Um. Right, so that turnout will fit the baby, I'm sure. And I need to actually change into wellies because I've got my jumping boots on and I've got a serious problem of not changing out of them. Look how dirty they are. Oh my God, I actually can't believe that. I think I need to buy a new pair. <laughs> I might just keep these pair for like every day and sort of like, I need to stop wearing them on the yard and just use them for everyday riding and then get like a nicer pair for well these are nice when they're cleaned up but and just get a pair for actual like shows i'm just not very good at looking after stuff i look after my ponies but stuff for myself not very good at looking after stuff mouses they're actually really cute okay. oh he's gone oh he's there Oh, we keep running over. I'm sorry, but I've got to take it. I've got to take the rug. I'm sorry. There. Um. And he's quite cute. He's actually really cute. the babies um, one's a bit feral so we're trying to put rugs on magic has got a head collar on with a tiny bit of rope mum's got him she's just going to attach the lead rope to him hi mass and then we're going to put some rugs on aren't we mass hey yeah, they look wet but they're not they're quite dry Showing off. 
So both rugs are on. It was successful. We've the weather's got... a bit different to when we first. Yeah, I said the Primark well, we... dupe has come out when we last chatted to you all. I know. So we've had a lovely October, but finally the weather's settling in, and today's routine's all been about get, sorting out their lightweight rain rugs and sort of getting into the winter routine. Yeah. Making or sure is it autumn? Trying to sort sure. gateways out so they're not too muddy. But yeah, but Mass has got a five nine on. He could probably do with neck size up, but he's just so fine, so it's a bit difficult. So it's a bit, bit, bit tight on him, but then it's not on the chest. It's he's just a weird shape, isn't it? He? He's a baby. <laughs> and um, Magic has got a five <laughs> six on, which fits him very nice. Um, yeah, he's a lot more broader on the chest, isn't he? The baby. Yeah. Well, they're both babies, but the one-year-old compares to three-year-old. <laughs> the one-year-old compares to the three-year-old chunky. I know. <laughs> but we don't like to really, you know, we like to sort of just do maybe a week of breaking them in when they're three. Yeah. Like we did with... Um, Malegro, but then we then turn them away again for another year. Yeah. Um, till they're to the spring, to the year that they're going to be four, um, to bring them in and properly do work with them because obviously it's not good for them to start them too long. So, yeah, so what have we got to do now? We've got mucking do you know out what I'm doing here. first. Oh. Before I muck out, I'm going to give my car a clean. I want to set some standards. You're going to give your car a clean in this weather? Yeah, I'm going to pull it into the it's indoor barn well. under cover and I'm going to clean it inside out and set some standards like make sure that there's a place for our welly boot. This is all like this all starts off well in October. Yeah. By December we're getting in the car thick mud, thick mud. freezing cold, can't be bothered to change our boots, car stinks, <laughs> mud everywhere. But I'm trying to stick to it if I can because obviously we take the little dogs with us so and we've got the hot water wash down so yeah. you really want to try and just put your feet of wind before we take them home because it's a nightmare at home with cream tiles yeah yeah first job i need to ride honey at some point today so mum's cleaning out her car so i thought i'll quickly ride honey because i don't know if anyone else is the same Ooh. But by the time they've mucked out and everything, they're so tired that they have lunch and then they can't even be able to ride. So I'm going to quickly ride Honey just so it's done. Just so then I feel like I've accomplished something today. So Honey's pack. She just needs... She's got all that. I'm going to change her into this other bridle just because this one's a little bit big for us so it's a bit hard working but i know that one fits my leg grow so i'm hoping that one will fit honey too so we've got her saddle her bridle and then i just need oh let me get my boots on that might help or just take my boots with me and my boots and then i just need my hat which is in here. Right. Let's go. I've just brought Honey in and I'm just going to take her for a little hack because I took Nebo and Danny to a jumping lesson with Net Lewis yesterday. Uh, 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 she loves to knock the camera over. This pony, come on back. So they don't need exercising today, but Honey does. So I'm just going to. So, I have a lot of questions normally on my Instagram with what is my plan with Honey and to be honest, at the start I didn't really have a plan because she was bought as a project to sell as I just love ponies and I just think they're very cute and I love riding them so I thought, you know what, it'd give me a nice little summer project slash winter and then i was going to put her in fall but unfortunately that just didn't work out i'm not completely mad at because now thinking about it i don't really need another small pony i need a horse and that is why we've started training danny to do some jumping 
and frankly I just don't, I have no use for honey in a way of a future with jumping because I need a horse so honey she's amazing she's the best four year old ever you can take her out hacking on your own she's fine with tractors anything she's honestly the best little pony you can ride her bareback do whatever you like on her but she's just although I can I'm small enough to get on her it wouldn't be fair for me to keep her and her just be a field ornament and something that I have to hack or take to a little show every now and then I think she needs a kid that's gonna love her and take her to shows where she's young I want her to live her full little life so I think the plan is for her is just to get her trained up a little bit more in a way of some flat work which she can do but she's just good as gold like hacking everything is good but I think I want to do a little bit more with her with like flat work and taking her out a little bit more um so yeah that's the plan and it is sad and I do love her but I think it would make me even more happy if I could see a little kid doing well on her. So that is the plan for little Hans. Come here. But she honestly, like she's in on her own right now. Like the others are all in the field. Like she's just good as gold. I actually forget myself that she is only four. And she's this good. Like I don't know many four year olds that let you take them out on their own hacking. Like she actually prefers it. She loves being a loner. She loves, she's very a one-to-one -one horse. She is the one horse that will run up to you in the field. And um, when she sees you, she's just so lovable. And that was like the hard decision for me to sell her. I was just like, I've never had a connection with a pony like I have with her, but I've got to think of her life. I've got to think of what's gonna benefit her. And I think, a little kid enjoying her is going to be the best option. But, come on, missus, I've got a brush on the side of your mane. Good but she's very, like, she doesn't really care about the other horses. She just wants to be next to you. Right, let's get you tacked up, honey buns. selling her like soon she, she i'm just going to do a lot more work over the winter for her and maybe consider it by the time the summer comes when she's five um but i don't think i'm gonna have a problem selling her she is just a diamond and i won't just sell her to anyone i'll make sure she's gone in the right hands and everything like that because she deserves it she has not done, put one foot wrong with me, even breaking her in. She has never even really done anything. Like she was just, okay, you can get on me. Like she's such a good girl. I think she's the one of my horses that, well pony, that I trust to do anything on. Like if I wanted to ride her in from the field bareback, I could do it. On the others, no job. <laughs> hey, let me actually get my self sorted. I'm probably not going to ride in this massive coat just because it's not raining anymore, but also I don't want to get too hot. Look at her. She's playing with the toy. Do you want a stable toy? Should I get her a stable toy? Put her bridle on. There's another tractor coming round. There it goes. That's why you can't hear me half the time. So I'm going to try on this black bridle just because the brown one's just a tiny bit big with for her, like in the cheek pieces. So I'm hoping this one will fit her a little bit better and then I can source it out, even if it's just a tad better for today and then I can just sort it out. That doesn't fit her very well, but it will do. Oh, she's so clever.
So I'm on Honey. I just took her all the way up this long path and then a little bit on the field and then it's a little bit muddy so I didn't want to like chance anything like happening like tipping over or anything so I thought you know what I'm just going to turn around and bring her back on the path and take her back this way as I don't really fancy going through the splodgy forest with the mud so what do you want? She's trying to hoover up something what you got a leaf? Oh, nice. So, um, I took her past the tractor. Absolutely angel. She should be used to tractors by now anyway because of the farm and the farm machinery and the cows absolutely didn't put a foot wrong. She's just such an amazing little pony and I think that's just one thing I love about the farm with breaking in youngsters and getting the youngsters out as... I never put them in an arena because I don't have an arena. So I just get them going forward and taking them hacking is just a great way to actually get them riding away. And Honey just proves my point. She is just a diamond and she's amazing. She's the best little four year old ever, but she's got such a level head on her. She's such a good girl. we go and also mum had lit this like ginormous flag round the the new block because i just like to buy things to desensitize the ponies a bit and honey'd never seen a flag before <laughs> and i showed her it and she's absolutely fine i put it all over her head got on her with it i'll have to i'll put the clip in here but honestly she's just any other horse any one of my horses they just dart off and i'll be in the bush but she is just such a good girl. You little angel, aren't you? Little angel child. You good girl. Come on then. You go home. You go home. Right, so I come back from my hack with honey and me and mum just popped to our local shop quickly because we had to put some money in the bank because we have just got tickets for the London International Horse Show with Abby, me and mum so that's really exciting so I've got some tickets I'm a bit nervous about the seating because I've kind of gone where the horses come out of whoa a fly just flew my nose um come out so we're kind of watching the horses jump over the wall so we're going to go watch the pre which is very exciting but the most exciting thing for me is the shopping i love the shopping so yeah so that's really exciting and now it's 2 p.m and we've got the whole yard to muck out so we're gonna be here a while i've just got i should have brought my tripod around here for some reason but i've just brought my numbers round because they need to go in the washing machine they are very dirty oh i have got my tripod here brilliant set my tripod up put you on the tripod it's just so much easier when i'm doing stuff i can just put you on the side so we can have a little chat so um first things first i might just stick some things in the washing machine oh i need a washing machine pod and i've got to figure out what i want to wash i think i'm just gonna wash these numbers and these jumping boots i don't know what else that needs to be washed this number can be washed also so and the boots i think that'll be enough for one wash at the moment i don't think there's actually anything else i need to put in the wash really Let's go to the washing machine. Let's get my pile of dirty stuff and go to the washing machine. I love washing stuff. Like I just find it so. I don't like washing like clothes, but I like washing things that is going to be satisfying. You know, like if I put my trainers in the washing machine, I can't wait for them to come out. Like that's exciting. Everyday washing, I don't do so. I don't like that. Let's just put these numbers on the floor a second. These boots, because I've got to unzip the washing machine, if I remember how to do it correctly. Because there's like a knack on how to actually work this washing machine. So, 
Let's plug it in for stars. That might help if I can find the plug. Right. Oh. Gets attached to the back of the washing machine, I'm sure. Just move this a little bit. Can't really see, but it's put at the back there. See here? On the washing machine. So that's glued in. Like that. You just straighten you out a little bit. Right, let's turn it on. So put it in. It's quite a small washing machine, so I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to get all of this in. Let's see. Try like to fold it up. Let's just do the numbers first. Okay. Maybe it's in there. Let's start. And it's on. And then the water just drains through from the tap. It's very clever. got to get mucking out which is my favorite job absolutely love mucking out i'm not sure where we i'm not sure where the big bar is hmm i wonder if mum's took it round the other side i bet she's took her bar around to where danny's moved around the stable so i have to use the small bars it's fine we've got Abby's trusty pink barra that she left kindly with me. Let's get mucking out. So I'm going to start off with mucking out the livery stables because they come first. And then once I've done the livery stables and then I'll move on to mucking the ponies out. But me and mum kind of do a barn each, so mum will be around there mucking out brick block, which is home to Boise Anna, which are in a shared barn. And we've got Ben, Guinness, Lids and Danny around there. And then around here in New Block, which is the newest build from the farm, which have got more internal stables. Got Oscar, Mitzi, Mini Legs, Lulu, Twinkle, and Nebo. And then in the pony block, we've now got Alistair, Jack Honey, and now Malegro, time to time before he goes out of the weekend. So, what I'll do is I'll get this barn done, or the liveries of this barn. And then I'll do Nebo and then I'll go around and just muck the ponies and the pony barn out. I don't know if anyone, does anyone else go through phases where they're like, oh, I wonder how I put my horses hanging at this side of their stable and like their bed this side. It may make them cleaner because I do it all the time. And I feel like in my head it says they do, but then a week goes down the line and they're still dirty. But I will say, in the pony barn, I've um, started putting their beds, because their beds normally go at the back, I've started doing like a little corner bed, and they're actually really clean with having corner bed, I think, because they're not standing in it most of the time. So, that is actually currently working at the moment. But you're going to get a little bit bored of me just mucking out. So I'm going to put it in a fast forward just so it's a little bit more enjoyable. <laughs> Thank you.
there was one equestrian product that I wouldn't actually be able to live without, it would be my blower. I love it. It's just a Makita, comes like as if you'd put a drill on charge, handheld. It's brilliant. Saves sweeping. <laughs> so that is one bedroom done. A few more to go. <laughs> Let's get my fork. Let's go shovel some poo. so dirty i don't know how mares are just so much more dirtier than geldings i had to take three barrows out of this stable <sighs> and now i've got another mare another stable done let's go on to the next hey lulu <laughs> And then I've just got to kind of blow and tidy up the yard. Third stable all done. This all kind of needs a clean. And silly me forgot to put the tube. Oh, it's going to show you how mad. <laughs> um, in the bucket. So it started draining down here. But once this is finished, it drains all the dirty water into the bucket like this. So it's now Nebo's stable next. He has got a very big stable now. And yeah, so Jay was in here before. I'm just going to muck him out. He is normally quite clean, so I'm not that dreading him. absolutely sweating I just need to make his hay net but, and I've got more to muck out but I'm not gonna bore you with that washing machine is all done look at all that dirty water let's open the door look at that clean numbers and also they don't come out dripping wet so now I can just hang them and they will be all clean This one really needed a wash. This one was so dusty. Look how clean this one is. Very clean, very impressed. So it is half full and I'm still not done. I have just made up the feeds for the livery and also Nebo's feed, which he's just on a scoop of Alfre chaff, some half scoop of competition mix, just keep him ticking over he doesn't really get that fizzy off it it's just like normal feed to him and also he is some hill supplement joint and mobility which he's always on which he is feeling amazing on that at the moment i'm now off to the pony stables because i'm still not done mucking out but i'm not going to bore you with that um but let's go inside the pony stables i also have got a whiteboard that i need to write right out like my riding schedules and who I want to get fitness that day. The ponies are not that dirty. I've been giving them corner beds, so it's working out pretty well. So I just need to muck them out. 
little update on the ponies. The pony block is all done. I'm currently just doing their waters. I need to take Honey's turn now off. This little monkey come in with thousands and thousands of burns all in his feet, all in his towel. I plaited this pony all up lovely yesterday because I thought, you know what, I'm going to start keeping his hair nice. So it took me about a good half hour of trying to get all the burns out, which I managed to. I see on Facebook that you can actually use baby oil and if you let the hair soak in baby oil, it will actually just comb out, which it was. It was so good. So definitely if you've got burns in your horse's hair, just use baby oil. But now he's literally oiled. <laughs> put my words out there. He's literally oiled up to the nines now. So kind of need to sort that out. But luckily it's not going to be sunny. Otherwise that won't be good. But yeah. These are all out. The ponies are just getting ready to go to bed. Like I said, we need to take Honey's turn out off. Ali is in his stable. Look how little he is. And he's got burns in his hair too. But I'm going to tackle them tomorrow. But yeah, a little bit of a bit of a random day today. I had a lot going on, but not too much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, which is Fifi underscore Welsh underscore ponies.